Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier this week we talked about Mega Avalug, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Coolfish. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week we'll be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution 4. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your own opinions in the comments section down below about what would you keep, what would you change, and etc. And at the end of every video I will be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Quillfish. Now, I really love Quillfish. Quillfish is one of my second or one of my favorite second gen Pokemon out there. Now, when it comes to like the uh, Mega Evolutions. Does Quillfish need a Mega Evolution? At the same time, yes, but no. But like, if it was like a top five Pokemon from Journal that needs a Mega Evolution, will Quillfish be on that list? Mm, probably not. But if it was like a top ten list, then yes, I can actually see Quillfish being on that list of a potential Pokemon to receive a Mega from that generation. Now. Quillfish is a very, I wouldn't say underrated Pokemon, but at the same time it is because it's one of the few Pokemon to get Intimidate. And when it comes to Intimidate with a Pokemon like Quillfish being weak to ground, uh, what I usually do with Quillfish, or what, I've, or what I've seen a lot of people do with it as well, is that they run max HP, max physical defense with like an impish nature and four in physical attack. And they have uh, Intimidate to pretty much weaken like physical type attacks because obviously Quillfish is somewhat made to be a physical wall because of the intimidate ability so I would love to see this thing uh, get a mega evolution because I want to see this thing more offensive more bulkier and a lot more faster at the same time so that's what I've actually done to make a cool fish so as you can tell from what I've done to its stats I did increase everything but left the special attack alone honestly uh, there's no reason for me to increase its special attack nor decrease it because the base 100 points that I use, that Omega usually gets is actually very very fine for Quillfish. Cool There's really no reason for me to actually decrease its special attack to have a little bit more points to add on to the base 100 stats that a normal Mega would get because once again it doesn't really need it. But regardless, let's get right into it. So for its physical attack, I increase it from base 95 to base 115. Now, I would like to increase it just a little bit higher, but at the same time, I think base 115 is actually a pretty decent attack stat for Quillfish because it does get access to Aqua Jet, Waterfall, Poison Jet, and a lot of other physical type attacks. But with base 115 physical attack, it's going to be doing a lot more damage than it would have just being a base 95. But regardless, it's just going to uh, have a lot more power than it would have while being a physical defensive wall. Now for its physical defense, I increase it from base 75 to base 110. Now, once again, like I said, Quillfish was somewhat made to be a physical defensive wall because of the Intimidate ability. So, uh, so I increase it to base 110 to make this thing a lot more bulkier than it was as a regular Quillfish because with base 110 physical defense, max HP, max physical defense with like an impish nature, this thing will be a very good physical wall in my opinion. And if I'm not mistaken, if Quillfish does get any setup moves uh i does it i don't remember yeah i don't even think it gets setup moves but if it does get setup moves then it would be good because then you could be a bulky wall while also being a setup a physical attacker as well to increase your physical attack and do a lot a decent amount of damage to your opponent now, for its special defense, I increase it from base 55 to base 75. Obviously, Quillfish's special defense is very, very bad. And increasing it to base 75 is still somewhat bad, but it is better than base 55 because the only things, if I'm not mistaken, that is weak to is ground and electric. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure those are the only typings that it's weak to. I think it's weak to rock as well. Don't quote me on that, but because I'm not looking at Quillfish's... Uh, stats on Cerebi or anything like that right now. I'm just going I'm just thinking of what typing is this week to off the top of my head. But regardless, um it, it does get uh, hit by thunderbolts or should I say electric type attacks more, most often and earth power I know for a fact. So those are just two typings that I know it's, it's really really weak to it's not gonna be able to live all that much from a thunderbolt or an earth power by by wh whatever means because base 75 is somewhat still kind of frail in my opinion so but in my opinion it's still better than base 55 so with that uh that's why i increased it to base 75 now for its speed i increased it from base 85 to base 110 now 
I was thinking about just probably increasing its its speed to base 100, but I wanted to increase it to base 110 just because I want this thing to outspeed a lot of things. Uh, just because, like I said, it's mostly known for being a bulky wall, but at the same time, with the, the with the uh, attacks that it will have as a mech evolution being a base uh, 115, this thing like will attack you with like waterfall potential flinches, aqua jet which is priority and stab because it's water type move, poison jet because it's obviously uh, stab as well, and you can get the potential poison. I mean. I want this thing to be fast enough to outspeed a lot of things. So with base 110 speed, uh, it's gonna have uh, it is going to outspeed a lot of things. Like I said, now as a regular cool fish, it, it's based as a 430, and with the Mega Evolution, it's gonna be at 530. Now for its ability, I gave it a new ability called Poison Barbs. Uh, I, I think that's an item, if I'm not mistaken, but. Uh, I wanted to get. I wanted someone to make that an, an ability as well because uh, what it does pretty much is that you have a 25% to poison your opponent if it attacks you. So it's pretty much like poison touch, but you have an extra 5% uh, percent added to that ability. And also, it is going to have the same effect as iron barbs, and you are going to lose uh, one eighth of your health if your opponent attacks you. That's what I wanted to do for its ability. Is that I wanted to mix poison touch and poison barbs and put it on as in the same ability. So that's where poison. And Barb's ability comes from. Um, if there's a better name for it, then let me. If, if you can think of, let me know. Because the only thing at the moment I was thinking about was Poison Barb's, and if I'm not mistaken, that is an item. So if I if it is, I do apologize. But you kind of get the aspect of where I was going for with its ability. Pretty much combining Poison Touch, but giving it five extra percent uh, chance to poison your opponent if they attack you, and also you lose one eighth of your health every time they attack you. Kind of like Ferrothorn's ability, or should I say, it is the exact same thing as fair thorns ability so you get two things that you, your opponent has to watch out for getting hurt by iron um, by iron bars and also uh, getting that 25 percent chance hoping that they won't get poisoned if they attack you with a physical type attack so that's what i've done for its ability now for its typing i left it on as water poison there's honestly no reason for me to change it because i think it's a very very good typing for quillfish um it, it, I like that's pretty much all I can say. It's just a very good typing for Quillfish. I mean, it does get both stab moves, so that is also very good. So with all that said, there is Mega Quillfish. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Now, if you guys missed the previous Why Mega Evolve video, which was Mega Avalog, it will be in the description box down below, so you guys can go and check it out after the end of this video. And also, I did make a Twitch. Will be in the description box down below. Go and give me a follow because. I am going to be streaming Pokemon Showdown and Dueling Network. Now, if you guys do not know what Dueling Network is, it's pretty much the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, it's pretty much like Showdown, but for Yu-Gi-Oh! If that makes sense. So, I will be streaming that with a friend or so, because I know I do have a couple friends who play Yu-Gi-Oh! as well, so we might be streaming that sometime soon. But, once again, uh, that is going to be in the description box, so give me a follow. Now, I do have a gaming channel and nothing's going on right now because my previous LP, the file got corrupted and I had to stop. But if you guys want to give me a subscribe there, then go ahead. It'll be much appreciated. But with, with all that said, the next Pokemon we are going to be talking about is one of my favorite first-gen Pokemon, and that is Persian. Now, I kind of had to talk about Persian. I'm surprised I haven't talked about it sooner because it's like one of the most, I wouldn't say the one of the most iconic Pokemon, but at the same time, it's the evolution in the form of the one of the most iconic Pokemon Meowth. So with all that said, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Uh, next week, we are going to be talking about Persian. So this is White Boy for the win, and I'll catch you guys later.